Today we are talking about some more 151, specifically the Charizard EX, because things are getting a little crazy. And I want to start off this video by saying I was wrong. I have no problem admitting I was wrong, okay? Um, and I'm going to explain why I thought what I thought, and it's going to kind of make sense. But the Charizard is doing crazy things. Uh, I don't... It, there's not that many listed right now, so I don't know... It's like buyout stuff or whatever. Not that the Charizard can't be valuable, but I'm going to I'm gonna explain it all. So, But we got to go into the recent sales because this is Monday, October 14th in the morning, uh, Pacific time. And look at these last sales, like 220, 231 last, sale, last solds on TCG player for the Charizard EX, which is insane. Like just, it was a very shot up, growth um so yeah wild uh the chart like the chart's gonna take a little while to update but yeah um in the 230 like 230s raw we'll take a look at psa 10s real quick um last sold right here like this is crazy too 710 710 for the charizard sir uh and then this is a japanese so then 700 so 700 and 710 were the last solds for PSA 10s. Now, if you guys watch the channel, like in my, that was a few videos ago, I think, um, we talked about this and I talked about the, because the, it was shooting up, right? And I'm going to give you my reasoning as to why I thought it wasn't going to run like too high. And it does make sense, okay? So we have, this is the Scarlet and Violet pull rates, uh, 150, sorry, Scarlet and Violet 151 pull rates. This is from TCG Player. So the pull rates, on 151 are they're not anything crazy for any sir oops, excuse me is one in 32 packs which is really good but for a specific sir because of the set size it's only one in 225 packs so that means that for the charizard it's one out of every 225 packs it's any sir okay so that, that, those are the pull rates, right? And we've seen some... Um, I mean, I've, I've opened plenty of 151. And it's fun. It's fun to open. One, because it's amazing. Like, I like the set, right? But I do like the pull The pull rates are generous. Or they have been generous to me. So I can kind of back that up. Obviously, like, I haven't opened uh, 1,500 packs to, like, you know, get a better view of it. But... Um, it kind of matches up, right? So the SIRs are easier to pull. And so that's kind of why I was like, well, can the, how crazy can the Charizard go? Um, I know it's like the set itself is in crazy demand, probably the most master setted set ever, possibly. And that makes sense. So it's in high demand, but the pull rates are still easy. So it's kind of why I thought and like the prices wouldn't go too crazy. But let's just do a little comparison. Um, we're going to compare to Evolving Skies. So this is TCG player um, from 8,000 packs. And uh, some people were... And it's not that many people, but I saw the comments. Some people were saying it's Moonbreon comparison, which... Guys, this is what you have to understand. Any specific alt art from Evolving Skies... Pretty much, it's just under 2,000. One in 2,000 packs. So, even even the the Vs, the alt art Vs, one in 1,000. So, that's why when you just do this comparison between the SIRs are the, the that's the highest rarity. It's just the pull rates, guys. It just, they're not there. So, that's why when I was looking at the card, at the Charizard, I go, how, I understand it's the most popular Pokemon from the set, right? And that makes sense. But like, how crazy can it go with the demand? So that's why I still think this is interesting and there's not that many copies on TCG player. Um, so I, not that this card can't have that value, but I just find it really interesting. So that was my reasoning behind it, it had said, like so reasonable for so long compared to where it's at now that it just it kind of made sense for it to not to not be the moonbrion okay it's not gonna it's not gonna be that um 
it's just too easy to pull. I understand where the product is at, right? It's not readily available. Uh, but that's why when it was kind of jumping, I didn't think it was going to jump this much. So um, I was wrong. It jumped. But that was my reasoning. It just it just seemed like it was a little too easy to pull. Um, I mean, the Brilliant Stars. Um, the Brilliant Stars one, which I, I, I've said that I think it's the best artwork. Much harder to pull. Okay. Um, but anyways, but that one's not as valuable as this. So, um, also something that I find interesting when I start thinking about, uh, the SIR pull rate, right? And I get that the Charizard should be at the top. He's the king and makes sense. But what about the Blastoise and the Venusaur? They are just, a, they're the same difficulty. So you would think, uh, that with the Charizard taking off that, the Blastoise and Venusaur would kind of follow, you would think. And I'm not saying near the same price, but like they're still kind of holding like low-ish around that $50 range for the Blastoise. We'll look at last solds. Climbing a little, I mean, we're seeing like a, a 60, 63, but if the Charizard's like 230, should the Blastoise be 60? So that's kind of, you know, where um, I'm not, I'm not saying that necessarily it's manipulation because the Charizard could definitely have that value, but uh, it just seems maybe like on TCG, like buyout-ish. I don't know. Uh, could totally be wrong on that. It's just something that you have to think about because buyouts do happen. Uh, manipulation happens on the market, so um, it's just a possibility. But then we have the Venusaur as well. Um, it's around, it was around 50. Looks like it's down a little, but last sold like 44, 50, 44. Uh, so the, if this is just as hard to pull, you would think that this would be shooting up a little bit as well. Um, there's not a ton of these on TCG right now. There's 66 uh, current quantity. The Blastoise has 102, and the Charizard, see, it only has 20 listed. So it's a lot easier to uh, to manipulate, potentially. So uh, you would just think that, that the others would be going up as well, but... Let's just kind of where my thought process is. Um, random. Uh, Forge and Fire is having a sale on Stellar Crown if you're interested in picking up some boxes. Um, they have them listed at 98, but you can get them for 89 with code WELCOME89. Uh, I don't get anything from Forge and Fire. I get nothing. No discount. I don't get a kickback. Just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get some Stellar Crown boxes. Um, but we'll take a look at some of the sealed real quick um we just recently touched on this and not too much has happened but this is the regular uh etb it's almost at 90 dollars on tcg uh last solds though in the 90 range we got one at 77 looks like it's the outlier but 91 91 91 91 uh so etb is doing well uh this is the pokemon center etb we did touch on this one recently it's up 58 percent in the past three months um they have it at 196 but last solds are at 209 and 223 for the Pokemon Center exclusive uh, ETB. Then we have booster bundles. Uh, booster bundles are bouncing back a little. They were up around 50. They came all the way down to like 42. These were available. They were getting restocked like on Walmart, Amazon, uh, pretty fairly frequently for a while. Uh, so it does make sense that the price came down. But now they're running back up. Uh, last sold, there's... Two at 54, but around 50 bucks. So booster bundles are up. Uh, the UPC we talked about in the 180 range, 47% gain in the past three months. Wild. Uh, 186, 186. Um, yeah. So that, that's that's the sealed product. Um, we'll go back to my my closing thoughts. I just want to circle back to the Charizard. Okay. So in summary. Um, for the Charizard, I was wrong. I have no problem admitting I was wrong. There were some people in the comments saying, uh, it was kind of interesting, but, um, but yeah, uh, here I am, right guys. I'm saying I was wrong. I, I've, I've been wrong before and I'll be wrong again. Um, the, uh, Twilight Masquerade I was wrong on. Okay. The Greninja. Um, I, I like the Greninja a lot, but didn't think it was it would do as well as it has. Um, 
there was an interesting um, write-up on TCG Player. I'll see if I can pull it up while I'm talking. Um, the uh, that the Greninja they were saying was a buyout from one person, and I just thought that was a little interesting that that was coming out on TCG Player. And so, Biotafin and sorry, I'm getting back to the Charizard. With the Charizard just being much easier to pull, and then with the article about the uh, the Greninja being a buyout, I just it it makes sense that it could be a buyout. Once again, I'm not saying like that it is. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying it could be right. So this is the article right here. Is the Greninja price the fault of one buyer? Um, so in summary, they're just talking about a buyout that happened, um, and then the market um, scrambled. You guys can feel free to check out the article. But um, when there's not that many copies of a card um, on TCG, like 20 cards, right? There's uh, 20 cards of the Charizard right now. I could go on there and I could buy every single one, and then I could relist them, or not, and or not relist them. Um, and the market is going to kind of scramble, um, especially if I relisted and I like had the only listings, and they were like three hundred dollars, and people start FOMOing. Um, so that is a thing that happens. I'm not saying that that necessarily is uh, what's happening here, but. Um, it does seem like it could be a possibility, so it would be interesting to see if that is the case when this kind of this would kind of level off and then the prices would come back down. Um, I do think it's cool though that we do have um, a another card in the two hundred dollar range, so that's that's looking good for Scarlet and Violet. Um, we knew one five one was crazy, but um, yeah, the demand for the Charizard will. We'll have to keep an eye on it for a little bit longer. It's it's too early. Like, I know it cracked 200 and there was a 230 sale or whatever, but we need a little bit longer of a time frame to fully, like, the Greninja has held for quite a while now, like months, um, months at its price. So that shows some stability. Uh, we need more than like a week or days of sales just to like see if the market accepts that price. Um, I know that a lot of people are probably listing and selling their their charizards especially if they have psa 10s um 700 bucks is crazy so um yeah that is it for this video i wanted to um touch on the charizard again admit that i was wrong um yeah i was i was wrong guys i have no problem doing that um yeah hopefully hopefully this video came out okay i i don't um i didn't mean it to be like douchey or anything. I don't know if it came out that way. I just, I was just coming out saying, here's what's happening. Here's what could be happening. I was wrong. So, um, yeah, that's, that's kind of it. Um, a little bit of a ramble, but yeah, the Charizard is crazy. Um, I have, I have two copies of the Charizard. Um, I'm not looking at selling any, either of them currently. I pulled one in a video, a recent video. And the other one I traded a, for, uh, it was an Obsidian Flames booster box I traded um, for the Charizard. The Obsidian Flames box I had gotten for like $88. So, um, yeah, I'm looking I'm looking pretty good as on the Charizard front. Um, but if you guys want, like, I'm not selling them. Check my eBay if you want. A uh, link is in the description. I, I don't have a Charizard um, listed, although I'm starting to think about selling one uh, at this price. But... Currently, I am not. So, um, yeah, I'm not uh, not trying to pump pump the Charizard up or anything. I'm just trying to give you guys the news, um, being as transparent as and honest as possible. Um, yeah, oh, that's gonna do it for this one, guys. I'm sorry. A um, little bit of a rambly one. I'll catch you guys in the next one. And remember, it was never a phase.